Now we're going we're going to hear from Dr. Rebecca Gatson. She's assistant dean of students, and she will be presenting about the grad school de and then some and how to connect in within the campus. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to UTPA. We are so excited to have you here with us. Um, as she said, my name is Rebecca Gadsden, and I have the pleasure and privilege of serving as Assistant Dean of Students for Student Involvement here at the university. I've been here just over seven years, and this is one of my favorite times of year. Graduation in spring is like one of my favorites. I get all emotional uh, during the pomp and circumstance when the, when the music starts playing and the graduates come in and the mace and, and that. Um, the regalia, I get very moved by that every year uh, because I, 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 I get to know a lot of you through your process of going to school here and I hear your stories of the sacrifice that you have and the balancing and the, the kinds of choices that you make and I, I really am very excited about um, your upcoming experience here in graduate school. But what I'm going to do is share a little bit with you some information about life outside of the graduate program. There are a number of resources and opportunities for you to engage in while you are here and I would like for you and invite you to make the most of your collegiate experience and part of that is getting involved and so there are really three great reasons that I can think of to have you get involved while you're here and uh, many of you maybe were involved while you were undergraduate students at your undergraduate institution and the same benefits really do play a role as a graduate student and the number one thing is really the networking and connection opportunities that you have by getting involved in campus maybe through internships graduate assistantships teaching assistantships possible research opportunities with faculty, getting involved in student organizations or honor societies, it gives you the opportunity to make connections and find out about opportunities to advance yourself in your career development or possibly being able to present your papers or attend research conferences or being able to do poster presentations. And without that sense of involvement, it can be really easy to miss those opportunities because you're not connecting and engaging with the individuals who have the information to share with you and invite you in to those opportunities. So I, I mean, I would encourage you for that number one reason, that's awesome. For those of you, you might be here for your master's program, you might also be here for your doctorate. So some of you might be thinking about going into a doctoral program after you're done with your master's. So being able to engage and make those connections with faculty also gives you the opportunity to have someone who can write a amazing letter of reference for you to support your admission into a, a doctoral program, whether that's here or elsewhere. Um, so that's, those are, that's like a great reason to get involved because I want you to be able to have all the kinds of opportunities that really set you up for success and to get you where you're wanting to see or where you see yourself in your future endeavors and your career path. Um, the other thing is really the socialization. There are some specific graduate-based student organizations that have formed at the university, in particular the Graduate Student Association. Um, who better to understand the ups and the downs and the challenges and the obstacles and the joys than other graduate students? And sometimes it's really nice to be able to engage with a support network of students who will have something in similar, you know, something similar to yourself. And the other thing is some of our professional associations, like the Association of Public Administrators, they have access to being involved in um, professional associations, regional and national conferences, the opportunity to engage with other um, career professionals, and also just be able to form study groups and, and um, be able to have that kind of academic support system through involvement in a student organization. And so that's a wonderful thing, having that support system. And, and that opportunity. And then the other thing is that you have an increasing uh, and a wonderful opportunity to make a difference. Many of you have probably been civically engaged and, and active as undergraduates or as community members, and you have an opportunity to make a difference. I know a, a large proportion of our students at this institution are first generation. That is what's closest to my heart. I was that as well, and when I went to graduate school, I made that sacrifice of leaving full-time employment to focus full-time on school, and I went back to being a poor graduate student, and that was a really huge sacrifice. So I went really fast. I graduated in a year and a half because I took as many credits as I possibly could and what was allowed because I wanted to get it done and go back to being fully employed. Um, but the, 
the opportunity is there for you to continue to get engaged. And for some of you, you already are working full time, you have families, and, and your engagement is with your family and with the community. For others of you, you may be looking to get engaged to be able to give back and serve as a role model to our current undergraduate students or serve as a mentor to other students as well. And so there is many opportunities to kind of get that self-fulfilling satisfaction of continued growth and development and even some enhanced skill development. Um, so being involved in a student organization or a campus committee, we have 34 campus committees and councils, over 120 seats, which gives students the opportunity to have a voice and make a change on campus and to sit at the table with administrators and faculty and staff to really set the tone, the policies, procedures, and, and the important things that impact students on a daily basis. And your wealth and wisdom of life experience can add so much to having that voice at the table. In fact, many of those committees and councils have a specific position set aside for a graduate student for that very purpose, so that we're able to listen to you and your perspectives for your needs and the things that you're looking for in your experience as a student here at UTPA. So I really encourage you to get involved civically, to make a difference um, while you're here on campus and within the community, to be able to network um, and make the most out of your campus experience. Um, what I want to tell you about is a few of the different specific um, offices that are available for you to reach out to. After this evening's um, presentation portion, you'll be going to the mixer and reception where there'll be several offices represented tabling and for you to be able to be available to answer, ask questions of. But the Office for Student Involvement works with and oversees all the different student organizations on campus. We have just over 200. We also are home to the Community Service Connection, the Leadership Program, Leadership Academy, and the Leadership Institute, which is a national um, program. Uh, we also have fraternity and sorority life. We work with Student Government Association, campus activities, and the University Program Board. Uh, our office also employs many graduate interns and students. Uh, in fact, we have one in the crowd right now, Michelle Mendoza. She works in our office as a graduate intern. Um, and we also have within our area of opportunities for you to get involved is also serving as a mentor in one of our mentoring programs or um, even looking on campus for employment. Some of you may be looking for that and career services is the place to go and you have the opportunity to work in a position on campus um, in a department and how convenient is that? Being able to work on campus and go directly to your class and have a employer who is very understanding of the academic rigor and maybe you needing to flex your schedule. And so that's definitely a benefit of on-campus employment and there are those opportunities available for, t for you. And even some of our offices within the student life area has part-time positions that might be able to be a benefit for you to help supplement your income while you're looking at your graduate program also gaining some professional experience while you're here and be able to have the convenience of already being on campus. Uh, some of the other offices that are with us is also Student Health Services. You pay a small fee each semester to be able to utilize Student Health Services. So when you go to get your flu shots and you're, not, you're feeling a little under the weather or whatnot, you can do all of that right here on campus conveniently. Um, uh, right next to the wellness and recreational sports complex. And that's the other thing that you have access to as well is the wellness center where there's the opportunity for a holistic experience of health, you know, you know health, <laughs> healthy mind, healthy body, healthy, healthy spirit. Uh, and so you can take advantage of working out there in the facility, climbing the rock wall. If those of you who have children, you have the ability to um, have guest passes for your spouse to come in or invite your children in. The special events are open. You can sign up for youth camps for your youth, your, your children. So there are lots of opportunities to have your whole family be part of your experience here at UTPA so you're not here all alone. Um, we, it really is a, uni a, a family commitment, a group commitment when you come to graduate school and, and are here at the institution and there are opportunities for everyone to be involved. And so 
I would like to welcome you again to UTPA and also to all of the events that are coming up next week. We have our Welcome Week events, and so there is a series of events throughout the week for you to be able to engage in, um, learn more about some of these different resources, student organizations, and be able to um, get a lot of free stuff, <laughs> um, good activities. One of our biggest events that are coming up is Bucky's Block Party, which is on Thursday, August 30th. It's in the Field House parking lot from 6 to 9 p.m. We have invited in area businesses, community service agencies, student organizations, campus departments, and all of the colleges. So it's really kind of an easy place in one location to be able to connect with a lot of different offices, ask some questions, get more information, maybe find out about employment opportunities in, in one place versus going from office to office on campus. So I wanna cordially invite you to come out to Bucky's block party and do that and be able to get lots of cool fun stuff. And you can also bring your whole family because there's novelties and different things for them to enjoy as well. And with that, I wanted to find out, is Student Government Association here as well? Okay, Matthew Garcia is our president of the Student Government Association, and Yadira Mejia is the vice president of Student Government Association. And I wanted to share my time with you this evening with them to talk to you a little bit about the Student Government Association and their role to serve you as students while you're here. So if you could welcome our SGA representatives. from. Hello, everyone. Thank you for that warm round of applause. Uh, before we get started, I just want to reintroduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Matthew Garcia, president of the Student Government Association. And my name is Yadira Mejia, vice president of the Student Government Association. So uh, we'll try to keep this presentation relatively short. I know you guys are uh, probably pretty eager to get out of here, but please try to lend me your ears. So Student Government, Government Association is basically uh, the representative body here at the University of Texas Pan American. Uh, whenever any student on campus has some sort of issue, something they'd like to see on campus, something that uh, maybe some sort of program that they really liked or maybe that they could uh, see some changes to, uh, we are the, the organization that really serves as that bridge between the students and administration. Um, as a new student on campus or um, just as a returning student, it, it feels a little uh, kind of strange to, I guess, go straight to administration if you got something Something, something's up or if you have some sort of issue or something that you're trying to tackle, it's a little weird just to go straight to that administrative role to go to the, the VP of some certain uh, area and just try and discuss what's going on. So we are meant to be that organization that if you've got something that you want to change on campus, you come to us, you talk to us, you say, look, I've been dealing with this certain issue for a number of months. Uh, I'm not really seeing any um, change or when I try to uh, go about doing certain things to try and resolve that issue, um, would you be able to help me? And that's what and that's what we're here for. We're meant to serve as that bridge, serve as that that way for you to get in contact with administration without you guys having to go through all the the loops and the the, the weird paths that you guys got to take. Uh, we do have um, basically how student government association works is there are three branches, uh, kind of just kind of like normal government. We have our executive branch, our legislative branch, and our judicial branch. So Yadira and I make up the executive branch, president and vice president. Uh, we sort of serve as the, the face of the Student Government Association. If there's some uh, big issue that we need to tackle, we're the ones attending, uh, attending meetings, talking on behalf of the entire Student Government Association. We have our legislative branch, which is made up of senators from across the entire campus. And uh, for these senators, there are actually senators for each particular college, including graduate students. So we have uh, senators for College of Science and Mathematics, College of Health Science and Human Services, and like I said, graduate senators. Now we do have, I believe it's two positions for the graduate senators, so if you guys are interested, if this sounds like something that you might like to take part in, we do have to currently have two open positions that um, you, you can feel free to, feel free to fill. Uh, we have an application available at the Dean of Students office. Uh, if you take this position, basically what you're doing is you are, you are acting as the representation for this group of students, all these people in here, if one of you guys chooses to be that representative, that graduate senator, you're the one that gets to, when, if a, another graduate student has something that they really want to talk to administration about or they really want to see changed on campus, you get to be the one that takes that issue 
and takes it to that administrative level to really start, start to see those sort of results. So it is an, an excellent position. You get to talk to some of the, uh, the most, most important people on this campus and really start to, to try and make change happen on this campus. Um, something that I would like to announce, um, September uh, 18, wait, September 18? September, September 18, Tuesday, uh, we will be having our State of the Student Body Address actually here at 6 p.m. And basically, um, Student Government Association along with University Program Board, UPB, uh, SHAG, Sexual Health and Alcohol Awareness Group, Resident Housing Association, and Greek Council, we will be getting together and talking about our plans and goals for this year for the students, the UTPA community. Um, please come and, you know, feel free to like, you know, tell us what, you know, what you would like to see in this campus, you know, like, for example, I know when Matt and I, when we were running, uh, we heard that our graduate studies, I, McAllen Teaching Center actually needed a microwave, and we're like, oh, well, we didn't know that, so we immediately got working with that, um, Dr. Cynthia Brown, and yeah, and y'all got a microwave, so. <laughs> And now y'all have a microwave. So anything as simple as that to a big thing, please feel free to let us know. We are located in the University Center, room 218. Uh, we don't have an office hour limited because we're trying to figure that out at the moment. But please feel free to stop by. Um, check our website at utpa.edu slash SGA, or you can email us at sga at utpa.edu. Our phone number is 665-2517. So any questions, concerns, issues that you want to like bring up to us, please feel free to, we're here for you all. And we're trying to make the UTPA a better place. And as our platform, we want to unify UTPA one bronc at a time.